first thing I'm doing, folks, good morning by the way, is uh, last night before I left, I brought the compressor in here with the airline and I just blasted all the shelves. Got it all off, so, uh, and then I backed up. But I imagine that lots and lots of dust has settled in the meantime, so I'm gonna come in here with a vacuum and just give it a quick suck off and uh, clean all the dust, any remaining dust, off the floor for surfaces and then we will continue with the other projects. I never got paint on that back wall, so I might do that next. We'll just see. Well, I've been pretty busy, boys and girls. So I've got that wall painted. You can just about see it there, look. And uh, also painted the block work up top, but it still needs another coat or two. And then as we come across around here, I've replaced the kitchen sink and fitted a little shelf for the stereo to sit on. The cupboard that came out of the toilet's been put up there, the microwave, the kettle, everything's there. And then I noticed something on this wall up. You see the water actually pouring out of the wall. So on the other side of this wall is a lean-to. Look, it seems to be coming through that hole there. You see that? So I think that the flashing against this wall's given up and it's all leaking and running down here on the inside. And all this moisture down here, that's all from the other side of that wall. It's madness. So I'm gonna put some more damp stop on there, mix up some cement, fill in these kind of holes and stuff like that, and then uh, crack on with the paint. So I install the kitchen and then rip it all back out again to put cement on the wall at the back there. You can see Stu's been up on the scaff painting um, the top section and some of the roof rafters. And I've been back up there as well with the cement, just filling in the holes. I know it's a bit of an arse about tip way of doing it, but uh, well, the holes tend to show themselves once we've got a little bit of paint on the walls. And I filled the big gap up here where I took out that old cast iron down pipe. And I'm just gonna shield up there now and uh, run a little bit of expanding foam in this hole here and then that, that should about be it. So we're not captured much today in terms of uh, footage because we've been decorating it's pretty boring. Stu's just moving the van for me so I can get out. I've got to go and pick the kids up and I'm going to try and drop them off at uh, the old Queen's and any luck get back down to do a bit more painting down here uh, we shall see it might be a random situation but uh, he's waiting for me to go so let's go and get the kids bit of a change of plan now Abs what we have in tea and biscuits tea and biscuits that's the kettle boiling in the background so we're going to have tea and biscuits and then see if nanny's in yep my idea Oh, was it? It was my idea. I made it back to work. Session IPA from uh, Red Willow. The Mosaic, weightless I believe it's called. It's excellent. Uh, it's 20 to five, but having said that, the paint's dry on this back wall and I found the projector. So I'm just rigging up the laptop to see if I can get a program to use this machine and project the logo onto this wall. God, just had the shock of my life. Moving everything around and the freaking tripod tipped over, the cannon landed on the floor. Thankfully, I always have a lens cap on and Badge over my lucky man, the lens cap, hit the floor first, came off, cushioned the blow. Anyway, panic avoided. We've got a computer set up here and it's projecting. I'm waiting for the sun to go down, which is crazy. But, and I feel like it's a little bit keystoned, but we did get it projected onto the back wall. Now, it's bright and sunny, so 
it's going to be difficult for the camera to pick this up but trust me it is up there the Harrison's Brewery logo you should just be able to kind of make that out but you'll definitely see it once I start drawing the logo on We've done it. There's still come on, you a few uh, bits to sort out and it needs tidying up. But what do you reckon to that? Hey fellas. Looks about right, doesn't it? What do you think, Gem? Yeah, I kinda love it. I think it looks freaking awesome. So uh, just got to put a big circle around the whole thing. It's slightly squashed. It's got a bit of a, an equator on the belly because of the projector. But I think it looks freaking neat. So we're nearly there. A few bits where I've had to patch some holes on the wall to paint. And then uh, maybe this weekend, if we get some sunshine, I can uh, let the floor dry and drop some paint down on there. But that's it for the to for, for the for the to do. That's it for the to do. Uh, that's it for today. So we're going to wrap it up, and we'll be back in the shop tomorrow, which is Thursday. More painting, I'm guessing. But uh, we're getting close now. Once this floor's done, I can start to get the pumps and pipe working. And uh, yeah. Still need to do a little bit of work on lids. I've got to put an order together for some steel and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going. See you tomorrow.